welcome to another Monday. We made it through another week. This is week three. Um, this is the start of the Easter holidays for all of us now. Um, another week to get our heads around how um, isolation and social distancing works. Um, but this week with a little bit less schoolwork. Um, I hope you all have a really good week. Um, this is a really exciting week for us because it is the start of Holy Week. So it's a time uh, when we remember the last week of Jesus' life on earth. Um, if you were with us yesterday, you will have heard Ruth uh, Odie, who leads Little Flames, giving us the, the talk uh, about Palm Sunday, which starts um, Holy Week. Uh, I sent out a video uh, earlier on in the week uh, with a few ideas of ways that we can um, be celebrating Holy Week in amongst everything else that's going on right now. But just in case you missed it, I wanted to give you a few ideas. Um, the Miracle Maker is an awesome DVD uh, for those who want to hear a little bit more about Jesus' story, about the last week of Jesus' life. And it's so um, family friendly, so you can watch it all together. Um, there are traditions that people clean their houses. Uh, so that's something you can do. I challenge you all this week. Clean your house, clean your room, change your sheets if you can. <laughs> um, Monday, Thursday, so Thursday coming, we have our Passover meal. This should be a really uh, fun time for us all to be together, um, marking the last meal that is recorded that Jesus had in the Bible, which also uh, reminds us of a time when the Israelites uh, were um, in slavery and it was before Jesus and uh, before God set them free. Um, window decorations. I've seen so many rainbows and there's teddies all over the place, but I wanted to challenge you this week. Um, use this as an opportunity to share God's um, message with everyone, to share God's love with everyone. Could you be writing um, some notes on the window for people to see as they go past? Could you be writing some scripture? Could you be drawing a picture that reminds you of the story of Easter? Not just Easter eggs, but actually the true meaning um, of Easter, which is about Jesus coming and uh, rescuing us from our sins and paying the price for us on the cross. Hot cross buns! My favourite, favourite thing to do in Holy Week. I'll send you a picture later on this week. Um, couldn't find all the ingredients, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. <laughs> there is also uh, the Kids Central quiz we're going to do at Good Friday about three o'clock. It's going to be a family quiz, so we're going to zoom in all together and uh, we are going to have uh, families as teams and there's going to be different rounds and it's going to be great fun hopefully just an opportunity to come together and to have a bit of fun and a laugh um, you could also make an easter garden um, you could if you have your resurrection eggs you could do those um, you could go and look around some virtual museums and look at artwork that reminds you of the story of easter um, but there are so many things that you can do and i'll be sending out some more links this week as well one thing i really wanted to encourage you to do this week is to pray, is to read your Bibles on your own, with families. I'm going to be sending out uh, some little devotions that you can do this week. But this is a really good week um, to actually spend some time as a family um, studying God's word and looking at um, this story, which we all know so well. But actually, when you look at it over and over again, um, it loses its meaning slightly. So I want to really encourage us this week um, to spend some time reading this story. And like I said, I'll send out some things um and just yeah really spending time as a family um together praying reading the bible asking questions um i was chatting to zabby's mum uh, a couple of weeks ago and she was talking about uh, a story in the bible which made her um think about the way that her family um read the bible all together and she said they're really starting to to do it more in this time they're spending some time in the morning um reading the bible um, and being reminded about the story of the Israelites when they were um, in the desert after they'd been um, set free from slavery. And it was when the Israelites were all moaning and complaining. They were hungry. They didn't have enough food. And God provided them with manna from heaven. It's like just uh, bread, I think. It's in Exodus 16 for anyone who wants to go and have a read about it. Um, but... The Israelites were told very clear instructions about how to collect this food, which God would send from heaven and it would be enough for them for the day. And so Eva and her family have started saying to each other, have you collected your manna? Have you spent time reading God's word today? Have you spent time um, praying today? Have you collected what you need, which will prepare you for this day? 
And this doesn't have to be something you do in the morning, it could be something you do at lunchtime if you're all together at that point. But I really want to encourage you, this is a time when um, we don't have our, our church family as a, as a physical meeting, but you can still meet together um, with your families and spend some time reading the Bible and hearing from God. But yeah, I want to be asking you the question, have you collected your manna for today? Now it tells us in the Bible that the Israelites were allowed to collect just enough for what they need. And we know that God provides for our needs. And in this time, I really want to be encouraging you, yeah, to spend some time um, reading the Bible. As we lead up to the most exciting um, time in our Christian calendar, which is Easter Sunday. And I really hope that I will uh, hear from you all again this week. Uh, I'm going to be Zooming on Tuesday and Thursday for anyone who would like to come and join us. Um, hopefully seeing you all at Passover meal as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a really good week. Um, I hope you have lots of fun, a little bit less structure this week with hopefully not so much schoolwork. Um, and yeah, if you wanted to um, email me anything that you are thinking, um, let me know. I really want to um, keep in touch with you guys. I'm really missing you. This week is going to be um, slightly tricky for us as a church family because we're not meeting together. Um, but I really wanted to encourage you. You know, God is um, in control. God is faithful. Um, he will provide what we need when we need it. And yeah, we can trust in him. But I hope you'll have a really good week. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.